Hey guys, what's up? It's your boy Wolmatron, back at it with another video. In today's video, we are taking a look at the final set of Super Styles from the Season's Battle Pass, making it Part 3. That's not the right tab. In here, we have... Where, well, last time in these styles we took a look at the Neon Citrus. Now we're taking a look at the Mega Wave, which is like a ready purpley pinky one with the yellow accents on each of these skins. So, if you like it, hit the like button, share, comment, and subscribe. Hit the notification bell so you guys know when I go live and when I upload all that good stuff. And yeah, without further ado, let's go into creative mode and take a look at these skins. Let's go. So, the first skin in this video is going to be Hide Wire. Again, as I said with the last video, I'd said give her the hood up style just to be a bit different. Um, you see though, the glasses are done in a gold sort of color with like the orange eye detailing on it, which is pretty cool. Her hair is done in a slightly blonde but like strawberry pink color, along with the um, hood done, you know, in black but with the pink overshade. Along with the rest of her outfit having that sort of black and you know, pink overshade on it. Um, you can see the uh, detailings is all in gold, which you can see pretty nicely done. I really, really like it. Especially around, you know, her belts and her pockets and stuff here. This looks really, really awesome. Um, you can see even like her leg plate in there is all done in gold. Um, for back bling and pickaxe out of this decided to give her um, one of the sevens pickaxe and back blinks. I know it's orange but and it's kind of orange and purple instead but it's, I like it. It's not the best but you know it's not half bad I suppose. It was kind of difficult in some manners to actually get the colours right because you don't really have many things that actually match this colour scheme so do bear, with, do bear with me this video, but you can see what the pickaxe looks like there briefly. How long with the back bling and whatnot. It doesn't look half bad. So, yeah, that is going to be it for high wire. Let's go take a look at the next skin. Let's go. So, next up we have is Thunder, which you can see Thunder is in his, you know, street gang leader outfit. As you can see there, his eyes are done in that sort of pinky red colour. And then his chains are gold, along with the zip on his jacket. And a lot of his other detailings are obviously done in gold. But his main jacket is done in that sort of pink colour, you know, the blacky pink. Um, you can see the gold there in the shoulders, along with the detailing along the arms. Obviously he's got his rings and his watch done in black, er, sorry, in gold as well. Um, you see the triangular, you know, the triangle details there, which are kind of animated, along with the leg detailing, because to my knowledge, all this is, yeah, you see the all that's animated as well, which looks very, very nice. And obviously the shoes are done that purpley pink with the gold accents. And for the pickaxe, I decided to give them, or give him the PlayStation pickaxe from the Seasons pack, along with this back bling from a level up pack a few seasons ago, which is also animated, but doesn't look half bad. So, yeah, again, not the best sort of color ca uh, color matching I've done, but still could be worse. So, yeah, that's it for Thunder. Let's go take a look at the next individual. Let's go. Next up in our styles we have Renzo, which Renzo has his jack or his long coat on as he usually does. Which take a look at the top, he you now has the base of a yellow mohawk with the uh, you know cosmic pink sort of filling the rest of it. He's got you know the the dark pink for the he actual helmet or the head, along with a bit of a different shade for the front. Kind of got like the orange eyes and whatnot with the yellow or the yellow gold teeth. We have a lot of the gold down the front of him here on his coat, which looks very very nice. Along with his belt, even his knee is done in all of gold there. Um, and his trousers and his shoes and whatnot are done all in 
that sort of blacky purple color and is animated to some extent which you can see just you know even the back of there is done in gold with like a pink tinge to it from the mohawk which looks really nice and you can kind of see in the back here how it's animated like so um for the back playing we gave him this which is from a skin i don't honestly remember which but it doesn't look bad probably one of the better matchups we've got for this video um and for the pickaxe as you can see we have the um fusion blade pickaxes that are kind of used as the lightsabers and whatnot which i do kind of count these as a cop out unless it's a star wars skin that you know needs a lightsaber so to speak so yeah that is it for Renzo. Let's go take a look at the next, which I think is Imani or um, Mizuki. So let's go take a look at them. So here we have uh, Imani, which off the bat her pickaxes are the wrong style. I do believe these pickaxes are just slightly broken because they weren't even the right colour in the menu or in the game itself whenever I look, went to look at them so I don't know what was wrong. did check to make sure the style was the right one but it was just broken so yeah. Um, as starting from the top here properly you can see her glasses again have the yellowy orange tinge for the actual glass for the lenses. Um, her hair can be looking like Spongebob with the colours, like the light and the dark yellow with the pink sort of outline to it, the pink tinge, which doesn't look half bad. For her outfit, got the base of the yellow, or the base of the pink with the yellow accents all over it, along with like the big design on the front. The, uh, you know, the big threads on her arms, and again with the animated torso and outfit colouring. Even her watch is done in gold and whatnot, which doesn't look half bad. And then her shoes are just, you know, kind of keeping with the same colour scheme of the pinky reddy, you know, whatever you want to call that. Um, you know, the red velvet, nearly, along with the gold. Excuse me. So, yeah, that's it for the outfit itself. For the back bling, I decided to give her these wings from a level up pack, which... Honestly, not bad, not bad. I do, I do like them a lot. Um, you know, the gold actually really, really works, and whatnot. As you can see, at least to me, it works. Kind of matches the hair more than the outfit, but it's not in the world. So yeah, let's go take a look at Mizuki and finish up this video. Let's go. Last but not least, here we have Mizuki in her, you know, more regal style, which looks pretty good. Um, starting from the top, you can see her tiara sort of crown thing here is done mainly in that pink colour with just the addition of the, um, the gold there in the middle. Her hair has not changed colour, nor has her makeup um, for her gown, I suppose you would call it. Um, it's mainly done in the gold, which looks really, really nice, obviously, for the um, arms and the main torso. It is done in that, you know, in the pink accent colours, which doesn't look half bad. Obviously, down the front here, the gold, like, piece here doesn't look too bad. And her shoes are done in the colours as well. Um, around the back, you can see that it is once again, um, what do you call it, animated, and a bit more gold. Um, to match, I decided to give her this back bling. Got pink, got the gold sort of yellow. The little skull in the middle, but kind of cute. Or like a pig's nose, but now you look at it. And for the pickaxes, we decided to give her the Halloween ones from the Vampire Drift bundle, I do believe. It was an interesting bundle, to say the least. So, yeah. Um, but yeah, that's it for this video. I don't know anything else to show off, I do believe that is everything, yep. Um, if you like this video, be sure to hit the like button, share, comment, and subscribe. Hit the notification bell so you guys know when I go live and when I upload all that good stuff. And yeah, I shall see you guys soon with something else. I'm not quite sure what's next, but we'll see. So yeah, thanks for watching. See you guys soon. Goodbye.